So I would play that along with her. Um, that one's, the, the tempo is actually pretty doable on that one. Just getting into it. Did she do it twice? Yeah. So, you know, let, let her get into it if you can't catch it on the first one, but then, you know, play along with her. It's a really great thing just to do in time. We also learned it in another place, right? Just an octave down. But we also did this shape. So, three, four. Right? And then fourth string. Another way to play that. So there's that, but then we also talked about just as far as licks go, chunking it out, right, and and not batting off too much and and playing um, like a whole section, really getting comfy with just certain parts. So like with do I want to know? Just like the first four notes, you know. So I'll play something, you play something. back to what we were talking about a little bit, which was slide, pick mute, move, pluck again, and it's all one kind of fast motion. Something to think about, it's not, um, that's kind of icing on the cake stuff, right? Now, we also did that thing an octave higher, so we were talking about, um, let's do that. One more, and then it's adding those two notes. talking about where slow-mo it's pluck slide mute and the mute is just getting your finger on the second string ready to go and using that same approach for the rest of the song one other thing totally shifting gears act naturally we're talking about a walking bass or just playing a d chord the whole time uh no, we don't want to do that. We want to do um, this. This is coming along really well. Hey, wanna put me in the movies? Right, it was the walk up. So. Um, now you can also do an alternating bass on the C chord, so. Kind of a fun little trick. They're gonna make a big star out of me. What about? Uh, 
Let's do that. That's just a fun little lick. Mainly, I mean, that's not something crazy to focus on. The main thing to focus on, the chords are coming along great. Just do that little walk-up business with that C chord. <laughs> 